You are watching a master at work. What's going on friends, Sanford is back. Once again, we're at Open Source in San Francisco and I'm at the Ultimate booth. They've got the E1 that they've just released. They've raised $46 million. That's $46 million on a Kickstarter very, very recently. We're not even a quarter to midday, quarter to 12. We are full. The booth is full. They've done over 18,000 in sales for these things so far. But if you make the E1, of course, is a UV resin printing machine. You can print on any flash surface. It does beakers, it does magnets, it does artwork, anything that you can think of. We're gonna try and get in there and speak to someone about that. You've seen these on the channel, of course, already. Links, of course, will be in the description as below. And if you wanna buy one of these, of course, the affiliate links are also down there as well. You'll be helping the channel out. So thank you very much. Let's move this way and get into it. What's going on, friends? I'm here with Justin from Binder Bills. Dude, dude, how are you? Good, man. How are you? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not <laughs> even quarter to 12. And oh, it's yeah. Mental in here. I'm so glad we got in early because I was thinking, yeah, this is kind of a chilled vibe. And that I can't, went outside, I've come back inside, and there was just people everywhere. So I think the key to recording any kind of content is really getting in early again, oh, yeah. and getting it shut off right away. But we're here with Luffy Make, and of course, we've got the E1, the UV resin printing machine, which I'm calling a business in a box. Sure. Uh, what's your thoughts on it? And obviously, you're here representing these guys yeah. as well. What's the upsell for this? What do you think about it? So for me, like my YouTube channel, I do woodworking. So this doesn't really feel like it would be the right fit, right? Right. But in my space, I have no color. Well, yeah. And so for me, I would yeah. dawn on me, wow, I can do like CNC laser engraving, et cetera, into that, place the project in here and add a color where I could never get that functionality before. And that's where over a whole swath of industries, you're adding capability at an afford that's a, a price that's attainable for small business and individuals that never had the opportunity before to now have a whole range of products and capabilities that they might not have been able to offer. Absolutely, and I, I think, I legitimately think the product is amazing. So easy to use. Oh yes. That, like, that was one of the big things for me is that, you know, when they, like, like you know, you get reached out by all sorts of different people. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time you say no, right? And it's kind of like, this is what we've got. And I'm going, it does what? How does it do it? How does it work? And I, actually, most of the, elements around this and me receiving it was around being the intrigue of actually how it works sure because yeah. let's be fair when that plate is like this and it's just you can't really see what's yeah, going yeah. on it's not as interesting as like a laser engraver why you do that type of stuff you know with this type of stuff the impact that you see with all these people that are here it's just wow how is that possible so i actually did an event last weekend where i brought the machine to a live event and people went crazy for an image that i had with one of my sons where he was 3d and the background was nice yeah everyone wanted to buy it i wasn't there to make it and to sell it so for people who are actually vendors doing that type of stuff you're going to be able to find a very interesting niche to really have a successful new product go out there into the wild yeah we have one of the beakers being made we were doing this little design and i'm looking at it i'm going no it's not printing we've got it wrong we've yeah. got it wrong and I stopped it foolishly mm. and it spun around. I, I thought, exact, oh no, the logo's I did the same thing. I thought, I thought <laughs> nothing was happening. You know, back to your question on the software, it is so easy one click AI to generate textures, but you still can go in depth and customize with 3D depth maps. Yep. So you can totally take an image in there, make it as custom, as unique, and tailored to whatever you're doing that you want to do. But also, if you're not an expert in that, one click makes awesome things really easy. So that's definitely one of the strengths of their software. Absolutely. One of the things I've been really impressed with is the fact that we've already had a number of software iterations. Mm -hmm. They're really putting their backbone into this. You know, it's not like you know, some of the 3D printing companies uh, that, that I work with, you know, you, I call uh, some of the printers one and done's. You get the product, you review it. Yeah, it's pretty good for you know, a new user, yada, yada, yada but you're probably gonna to want to upgrade at some point. Um, with this though, the marketing, the push, the everything behind it just seemed to be so geared up. And I'm not surprised with how well they've done on Kickstarter. For me, you know, I have lots of different companies that I work with in that space too. It's the usual thing, here's your machine, here's a sheet on how to do it, here's what we're looking for in the video, and very little support. I have the best relationship with any company I've ever had with this one because they set up a Discord with all the YouTubers, yep. all the people who are testing this. We're collaborative in there. The engineers are in there. The software people are in there. And so anything that's come up, 
they've immediately addressed in iterations of the software. Anything that we had ideas for that they could physically implement before they shipped out to the Kickstarter backers, they implemented. And they even have more accessories coming in Q4 that were influencer and testers' ideas yep. that we said, these are critically important, please make them, and they listen. Yeah. So Which is that unique, that's feedback, really unique, because you that's don't normally get that. That's why I'm that. here at their booth right now, because of that relationship and the community that I've seen form around this product. There are a lot of very passionate people that are really excited to get this in their hands and bought it at Kickstarter. Yeah, and, and in the end, you know, sometimes you can take a bit of a hit on stuff. Someone has sent you something and I was just like, yeah, okay, let's see what, oh, oh my God, this is really good. Yeah. You know, like really good. I'm yeah. very impressed across the entire, entire platform. And you know, this was off, as you may or may not know, the anchor element. Yep. You know, we had the V6 color wheel that didn't go anywhere. I had one of those as a prototype. I was one of the influencers on the M5C. Right. So I'm yeah. fully familiar with so that. We had, so we had those printers coming out and then they were like, and obviously that got canned. Then there was a name change. And I was thinking, what's going to happen here? But they really have put their audience to this product. Getting, you know, being in that Discord group where we're communicating with the, the community here, the employees that are here, I'm already friends with them from yep. being able to talk with them for months. And I can tell you that the passion and the commitment to making sure that the people who get this are satisfied is really what they're most, you know, focused on. That's awesome. So obviously these are now available online. Yep. Um, the ink and stuff is now available online as yep. well. One of the, uh, I will bring it back up again. We have spoken about it in a previous video, but one of the big things that people are saying online or it's been a criticism, if anyone's trying to pull anything out of this, it's going to be perhaps the cost of ink. And it is a premium cost of ink, of course. Um, but it, for, from a maker's perspective, you've got to kind of work it out. You've got to work out how much you're going to be spending in order to make money. So, you know, when I look at how I've inspected this machine, I'm very data driven. Mm. So I have spreadsheets on every single print, all my usage, I've worked out all the numbers. So when I print an entire one of the max size canvases, if it's flat, it's two cents. The more raised I go, the more money it is and the more time you get more into the 3D printing time aspect yeah, yeah. of things. But the ink cost, while it is at 42 cents per milliliter at the higher end of UV inks that are premium, mm. this is a premium ink because it actually gets filtered multiple times to prevent it from clogging your yep. print head. Yep. When they introduce in Q4, Q1, the larger reservoir tanks that are going next to this machine, which will be 500 and 1,000 milliliters, the price is going to half. Also, I actually did a video with Cheney, the head of the, the UV Make project. So in that video, he announced that that ink will be half the cost. So you're gonna be at 20 cents per milliliter, which puts you in nice. the lower half of UV inks. So people who are gonna actually use this more for heavier production, people who are not the casual user, they're gonna have opportunity to really bring that price down and have more affordable price. That's, I didn't know that, actually, I didn't actually know that. So thank you for, thank you for educating yeah. us out on that part. Again, I'm blown away by this. I, you know, we use this all the time. If it's not fridge magnets, it's something. You know, lots of artwork, as you say, canvas prints and things like that. Yeah. But even with the 3D printing, if I want to just brand something, I put my name on it, it's just so easy just to put it, put it in there. This machine is left yeah. on all the time because obviously it's got a purge and stuff. Mm -hmm. You do hear that. There is some, it does emit a bit of a smell, um, you know, but- well, So one of the other things they announced yeah. that will be Q4, Q1, yeah. is they're adding, it already has filtration in it. So top. there is yeah, a yeah. filter, but the top plexiglass is actually going to remove it and they have a air extraction system that's going to be added to this and do song as well so that if you are using the machine if you are sensitive to DOCs obviously you don't want any DOCs at all then you have an additional extraction so that you're not going to be exposed to it. I'm really glad I spoke to you about that because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I am one that I have been like in depth with this machine I go full force right into it so you know I, it's all about them listening. That was ideas that us influencers were like, hey, we really want an air extraction. Yep. And they came up with it. Yep. Yeah. As I say, I'm impressed with it. I, I, we're using it all the time. And it's, uh, it's a fantastic. And it's great that they're here. It is a merch machine. It is. Everything yeah, it for is. me, my business is all over everything in my home now, where before you'd have to send out for an outside company to have that pay for it. On, on your travels with this, who yeah. have you found is the most uh, influential audience or who is buying this what niche is buying this the most would you say well so you know i've had so many different people reach out to me from like people who make custom watch faces yeah want to be able to print this people who make custom legos are super excited for this we talked to a braille company that works with all the schools in america for the blind where 
they usually have to send out for Braille to be attached to things. Now they could just have this in their school. They could put a pill bottle and print the Braille right on there so a child knows what the medicine is inside or print it on a DTF sticker and put it on anything and be able to feel that. The possibilities with that, it's, it's, it's way outside it's of what people, PCB people over here today yeah. have been like, oh, can I print on this and then put it in the oven? Yes, you can. Yeah. So, wow. so people that do small modeling, people that do Magic the Gathering and Catan and all these other things. One of my friends who is one of the testers actually 3D printed from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a topographical map that has like the different parts of the video yeah, yeah. game in. So there's so many people that when you get this type of thing there's so many options that open up to you, that I, you feel, I feel so boring now no. now that i've heard all these fantastic <laughs> I mean, this is a great example but again it's just having that initial spark to go hey i wonder if i can do this on this or uh, you know oh, do yeah. it on that uh, there's a lot of uh, we do this thing called uh in my village they have a, a rock collection people okay. paint a rock please you can print on that yeah no. you can do something really intricate on that and oh, be yeah. like oh yeah I think people will go crazy for that. Oh, yeah. but, uh, where can people find you? Where's your uh, YouTube? Bitter Builds on YouTube. B I T N E R. Nice talking to you, dude. Yeah, I know you get on because you're crazy busy here. But um, <laughs> just blow my mind. It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, you, you too. Take care. Thanks Thank so much. You. you are watching a master at work.